Okay, hello TradingView users. This is Tim West. I am reaching out to you tonight. It's uh, 1030 on Sunday, August 10th, and I am hoping to show you the various indicators I've put up as a package on um, TradingView for you to help find support and resistance trend and then a unique way of looking at bars and let's get started here's the home screen with my uh, picture and the different markets that I cover uh, what I want to start out with is a brand new chart a lot of pages running on this computer so it looks like a little bit of time for it to start. Let me go to a daily chart. What I want to do is go up to my indicators uh, and look down for uh, the marketplace add-ons and key hidden levels. First one I want to go to is the earnings price support. You can see that will instantly paste these triangles which I have uh, created a proprietary way of looking at the earnings reporting date and coming up with one specific line to draw based on price action um, around the earnings date. So <clears throat> what this is going to show you very intuitively to me, to my eye anyways, is, is that uh, let me pull up a stock that you're more familiar with, let's say uh, Intel. Um, essentially, what I want to look for is that number one, the market actually responds to historical signals um, in this indicator. And what you're looking at here is here's the day that uh, Intel reported earnings. You can see on July 17th, a year and a month ago or so, uh, reported earnings, and the stock then promptly. Uh, dropped. Uh, so this line here that I've drawn, uh, the computer's drawn automatically, uh, should be a key level. So you can see the market tr tried to return to it here, fell to a new low. It actually held three previous earnings uh, levels very nicely here in this break, um, which oddly enough is very, very interesting in itself. I have set this Real quickly, I should stop and just uh, click on the indicator here. The inputs that I'm, I've created allow you to extend the lines three months, six months, nine months, or 12 months to the right. And that will allow you to basically just look up to one year ago's earnings. And I think that's about all the market really uh, remembers. You may find and we could reprogram this to include more time and uh, but for right now that's how I have it designed to plot it's only going to plot back 60 months just to you know reduce the demands on the computer and retrieving of this data so um, you can change the colors if you want I think green is great um, you can put uh, oh, you can scale right scale left anyways that's just pointing out here that this is uh, you know, one year out, drawing these lines one year forward, which is handy in itself uh, to see where one year ends. You can see it's just about right where they report earnings. So when this line ends, the earnings uh, came on the 15th of July this year. They came on the 17th last year. So that gives you a heads up as well. Um, in the event that you don't see, like I can't see right here, uh, how many days until the next earnings report from Intel. And uh, I did design that indicator as well. It'll tell you how many days in an area right here, the days to the next earnings report. So just looking at the chart, seeing that Intel is in fact reacting to previous uh, earnings 
reporting periods. Um, you can see the market tried to get back to this level and uh, then was unable to so blow up a little bit more. Then turned back away, held key support here. You would have been looking for buys around this area and because these are this is support. The market remembered these were important earnings release uh, prices, and that's where portfolio managers wanted to buy the stock. So now they get to buy it at their price. It holds very nicely. You can see there's no uh, there's no high that dips into these levels here, into where the lines are. So the market is unable to, to hold this. Uh, the sellers are unable to push the price down and break this support. So look at the market now responds by bouncing back to this level and access resistance. It comes back down. It holds the lowest high even on this setback. Uh, notice now we get another earnings report in this area. So now the market has these two levels to work with. But look at what it does. Bounces, holds. Goes through it, holds. Comes up, tests, tests. I mean, these are really nice uh, support levels to work with. So just right click and remove those. Uh, grab the drawing icon again. Now we get another earnings key level. But look what happens. The market comes down and holds this key area of support again here. You could be buying against this level and then looking to exit on a return back up to this level. These are very, very low risk uh, trade setups, very different from anything else that you can find anywhere. I guarantee you this concept does not exist anywhere else. Uh, we now have a new earnings report here. Um, and you get a nice test, bounce, test, bounce. This is a little false break for sure. And then a new a new trend. So let's see what we've got. Look at how strongly this uh, Intel is moving along here. Now, this is our latest uh, earnings report. It's after a long run up in the stock. Um, there still has been no high below this uh, key support level. You could still be buying against this level here. So I would expect this level to hold. So that's what I'm going to look for until I get an entire day's range below this green line. Let me pull up another chart. Um, let's do, I don't know what should we do? Amazon. A little high tech name going here. Um, just to show you a different stock in a different sector. Like that to draw there. Let me grab it again. So notice again the earnings key level here. It ha the earnings come out. The market pulls back. Uh, buyers are here at this key level. Uh, a very nice rally off of here again. We get a new earnings report. You're doing nothing. You're doing nothing. The market essentially holds against here. You can buy against this support from this key level. You get a nice rally up. We get a nice test of here. It's very short lived, but at least there's a test of this key earnings level. And then look, another trade back to here. Yes, you could have bought it, but notice on this day here, the high is below the key green line. So now we've detached from this line. We look for the next line down. Very nice uh, reaction off of this line. Nice bounce up. Now again, we have earnings coming out. So the market sets up an entirely new level. I know I'm talking quickly here, but uh, the point is notice how the market is acting around uh, these key levels. This is, I would consider, you know, not all not all that great action to it, but it gets back on track here. Um, so with this in mind, uh, looking at Amazon, uh, I would be very uh, happy to be shorting back up here at this recent earnings level at the 340. Um, a little bit more aggressively, could be shorting against this 320. Um, your potential is back here to 304. So selling 320, uh, if that fails, my next 
um, this is up here at 340. So that to me is how I look at um, the earnings levels. Those only work obviously for stocks with, that have earnings uh, releases and release dates. Um, obviously you look at the S&P 500, you're not going to get triangles on that because there are not earnings release dates on the S&P. You don't get them on TLT. You don't get them on uh, GLD or commodities or currencies, obviously. So I know I'm not um, educating you on that comment, but um, that is the earnings triangles and how you use them. Why don't I end there and I'll go on to another video on the options and also on the trend indicator and also on uh, my colored bars that I do for up and down inside and outside bars. So tune in to those if you want to check them out. If um, you want to Why don't I just end it there? Thanks. Bye.